time has come. GPT-5 is here. And this is not just an upgrade. It's a whole new playing field. I've spent the last few hours testing it, and I can say without a doubt, this new model is smarter, faster, and disturbingly good at thinking like an actual human. Regardless if you're using ChatGPT on your phone, desktop app, or the web, this is now the default model in ChatGPT. Yes, all the other models were compiled into one model that is so powerful that is insane. And also, yes, GPT-5 is available even for free users. If you're building a business, shipping a side project, automatic workflows, or just start spending hours writing copy or code, this is the tool that you want in your stack. Today, I will show you what's new and why it matters. And while we're at it, we're going to build something live so you can see how ridiculously good this thing is in action. But you know us here, we skipped the fluff, so let's get into it. All right, for first test, we're going to code a really easy game. We're going to do Tetris for this one. So made me Tetris game. I can play in canvas to activate the canvas. And we're going to send it. We're going to take a look at exactly how long it takes. So right now it's thinking and for this one, we're going to be using O4 Mini High, which is one of the best ones for coding when it comes to the ChatGPT ecosystem. So let's give it a moment and let's see what we get out of it. And as you can see, it wrote 558 lines of code, but let's see if it's useful. All right, look like can be used. Yep. So I can actually play it. Yep. See, I actually quite enjoy Tetris. So don't mind me playing this. We're going to recreate this exact game using Ch ChatGPT 4.0 and ChatGPT 5. So let's stop this and let's try this again. Let me copy my prompt. Let's start a new chat this time using 4.0. We're going to send it. So let's give it a moment and let's see what it comes up with. All right, looks like it's done. And this time we have 411 line of codes. Let's see how usable this is. All right. All right. It looks like it's, it's glitching a little bit. Definitely not as polished as the last one. Yeah, it does not rotate. Okay. Yeah, it does rotate but not using the same key that is same to use. Definitely not as polished as the last one, not as or useful. All right, we're going to stop this one and we're going to try using ChatGPT 5. Let's try this again in ChatGPT 5. Let's see how it goes. So it's thinking longer, it's creating the game. Let's allow some time to create it. And let's see what we get.
I mean, look like it's done. So let's take a look. Run the code. I would say that this look really nice. It actually worked as intended with no visible glitches. This is actually pretty good, in my opinion. All right. I would say that this is definitely a win. Us here. It looked much nicer than the other two. I would say that I love the experience of both. Because I just love Tetris. But this one has less issues when it comes down to the experience. I'm actually able to move elements around without much of an issue. All right, so I would like to know what do you think about this? Please let me know down in the comments below. And while you're there, let me know what you think. Let's go into testing some of the other aspects that comes with ChatGPT 5. Moving on to a little bit more challenging workflow, we are going to build a Google Sheet lead tracker that enriches data via LinkedIn. So let's see how well it does at building integrations like LinkedIn integrations, sending up emails automatically and in including some dashboards to track the conversions. We're going to send this prompt and we're going to see how well it does. So if you click here, you can see exactly what it's doing in the back end to put us. Okay, so it's actually thinking and summoning how it can get this done. Let's allow it a moment. And as you can see, it's actually giving me exactly what we need to do step by step. And while this will require some hands-on and getting your hands dirty, it's going to be well worth it at the end. So let's take a look. So this is going to be the structure. So let's start building this structure. We're going to create a blank sheet. Sheet number one is going to be about the leads. Let's create all four at once. Then we will have activity. And settings. And then dashboard. And if we may, I will create all the columns that we need and we will be back once everything is created. All right, now we're done. So this is the dashboard. There's nothing there yet. But as you can see, the lead table is the made. Same thing with the activity table and the settings table, which is where we're going to be pasting our API keys. Not the most secure way to do it, but just for this demo, this is what we're going to do. I'm not encouraging you to do this. All I'm saying is that this is how we're going to do for this demo. We're going to delete these keys at the end. So I'm not hard no foul here, but now we're going to start getting our keys and inputting them. So I will be back here in a moment once we have added all the keys. All right, now that we have added some of the APIs, which I'm going to delete by the time you watch this video, now we can start adding the app script. So we're going to go to Sheets, Station, Add Scripts. So let's add the first one. Let's reload this. We got bad request here. Sure, why? But let's see. All right, so let's go and add our script. I had to open incognitos. This, let's get our conversation. Let's go back. That I'm running to, and this is our script. 
So place the code, replace your work of deploying systems. So, really well explained. So what we're going to do now is actually we're going to open this side by side so we can make sure that we have everything we need. And let's open this on the right side. That is the sidebar. All right. And deploying the deployment web app. Deploying the deployment web app. It's a kid that's me. Anyone? Yep. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's work authorize as this various go to it how all right so we're getting somewhere we are copy the URL and place with URL code I will search web app L. Say that this is sappy what we're looking for, but who knows? Web app. We should be good now. Yep. And we're going to redeploy. And this is version. All right. So we have redeployed for the most part. Now we can go and get our Hunter and follow API keys. And as before, let me do it and I will be back. And after some time and some effort, we finally got something that is usable. So we got our settings, we got activity, our leads, our dashboard are though quite simple then we delete this id we're going to add our first user uh, which is myself calculating labs let's add the website host labs account and then Domain got populated with a new lead, which is a prospect. We got red ID. There's nothing else right here right now. Let's give it a second. And we should get all the data populated here. So it's saving. A worst case scenario, all we have to do is we go here to our handy dandy menu that ShadGPT added for us in I list and we should be manually and here we have the data that and 
in case you didn't know, this is actually my own LinkedIn profile. We're running that one. We got the email address, so we got everything we needed. From here, we can send an email, check for replies, bounce, so on and so forth. We're not going to do that. But bottom line up front is functional. But what if we could take it one step further? Let's allow ChatGPT to actually build all of this for us because about 30 minutes of my time was spent building this sheet. But GPT-5 can build it for you. So let's give it a try. So we're back to ChatGPT. What we're going to ask it to do is we're going to open a new chat and we're going to send the exact same prompt. It's just this time rather than doing the step-by-step -step ourselves, we're going to ask ChatGPT to build the frost. Now, haven't tried this yet. So this is the first time we are trying it. So we're going to be doing it together. So stick with me because this is going to be fun. So right now it's stinky. We're going to again allow it a few minutes to think, but we should be on the back end of this. This time is taking a different route. It looks like it's looking at using Phantom Buster and Nubella, which is fine. I don't know if this is the best way to go about it. So also looking at using Hunter, Captain Data, Clay. All right, let's see what it's suggesting. Google Sheets plus app scripts, same thing as before. Using Gmail to, yep, Hunter.io, yep. Frosty Curl for LinkedIn enrichment. That's decent. Looking at Looker Studio for the dashboard. I actually like that idea before we use few APIs like the um, API keys that we have there. That's fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We still writing the script and everything. But at the bottom, it's going to ask you if you want it to do it for you. We are going to say, yes, do it for us because I don't want to spend the time. And we're going to see what we get of it. All right, so this is what it gave us as the next steps. Um, so I wanted to do both of these. So let's allow some time to get that work over to Canvas so we can get exactly what we need. Still some manual work, but this will have simplified life so much because I had to actually ask to create a table and then copy those. Hey, hey, that was a little bit more of a hassle. Not exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting to actually create a spreadsheet that I can just download perhaps a CSV that I could just download, upload to Google Sheets and have columns created there, but it's better than nothing. But we're going to leave it here. I really appreciate you taking your time and watching this video, sticking to the end. I really hope that you learned something new today. If you like my video, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and while you're there, please let me know in the comments how you're going to use GPT-5 to improve your business and build something better. But with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.